Fun facts about candy canes. They taste like peppermint. Welcome back to Crocheting Christmas with your girl, Jennifer Mayo. Welcome back to Crocheting Christmas 2023. I'm your girl, Jennifer Mao, and today we're crocheting candy canes. Today we are crocheting candy canes and for the first time ever. So for the first time ever, I'm actually going to teach you how to crochet this pattern. <laughs> The reason we're doing this instead of me just linking in bio is you have to get through a lot of ads to get to the like hidden PDF and I just I'm not a big supporter of spam I'm not a big supporter of hide-and-seek links so sorry I appreciate the pattern but it was a super easy pattern and it's not so complicated that I can't describe it for you. <laughs> the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to chain 40 across. You're then going to do two double crochets in the chain the fourth away from your hook. And then for the rest, you are going to do three double crochets. And that's it. That completes your crocheting experience, except you have to do another one, right? So you're just gonna pick two colors. I went traditional, went white and red. Um, you could do white and green, you could do red and green. You know, you be creative, girl. Do you. <laughs> Anything can be Christmas if you put, a, you put a Santa hat on it, but also anything can be Christmas if you put a big red bow on it. So, FYI, <laughs> what I found to be more complicated than the actual crocheting was the assembly because there is no stitching, there's no sewing, there's nothing for these two things and there is no like line it up here and here. Um, sorry, it, it was basically trial and error. I had to do it a couple of times. Two centimeters of your top color should be over the secondary color. So it shouldn't be even, it should be like uh, like weird. Then you're gonna spiral it out and then you're gonna shape it like a candy cane. Yeah, I struggled with this one. This one I felt was like, this is such an easy pattern. We love her, she is so cute. No, I, you know, I do like it. I do think it's pretty. I do think, you know, it adds the whimsy. I do think that this is going to be a holly jolly Christmas wreath. But who's to say? Again, still open for suggestions. You just have to comment. So I don't know if you've noticed this from the bow video, but I have been just sticking safety pins into the ornaments just in case you know, I decide like, you know what? I want the bow to be up top. I do plan on sewing them into the actual wreath, but for right now, like I said, it's just there for placement. It's just there for me to visually look at because I don't know what else is going on the wreath. Freshman year in high school, a student had asked one of our teachers, why is a candy cane shaped like that? Like what do canes have to do with Christmas? And then he flipped over the candy cane and he said, it's a J for Jesus. And that was the only time I've ever heard that. I'm also not interested in Googling that. So that's always my one fun fact about candy canes. I don't know if anyone else decorated their Christmas trees with candy canes. I would imagine you would, but we would use maybe two or three boxes of candy canes. I think two peppermint and then one the random colors. And after Christmas, they get taken all off the tree and put into a cup because someone will eat them only for them to get trashed in the middle of, you know, like April. <laughs> just like Halloween candy. No, Halloween candy would get eaten. It would just take forever to do it. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if I wasn't as energetic as I normally am. I woke up at 8.30 this morning and I know a lot of you are like, that's not early. Well, I work second shift, so stop being judgy. You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of times I would just roll over and go back to sleep, but for some reason my brain was like, if you get up and start pretending to do things and be motivated, you might have an actual sleep schedule that flows with everybody else. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. You are going to get a few more videos for the rest of this week. It's not just going to be another one on Christmas Eve. I already have one already crocheted and done. It just needs to get edited and uploaded as well as a couple more things that I like to put on because I think she looks naked, but it's fine. <laughs> Everything will be fine. So if you did want to contribute, comment down below. Let me know what you think we should add to our Christmas wreath for crocheting Christmas 2023. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm your girl, Jennifer Vale, and on to the next project. <laughs> It'll never not make me laugh. <laughs>